welcome back everyone. I'm back with you to do your monthly element reading for the water signs for the month of March 2015. I have picked three cards from the Angel Tarot deck to give me a depiction of the beginning, middle, and the end of the month for our water signs. And I have some angel messages from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck um, for spirit guide messages and angel messages for this month for you guys. So we're going to get started. The first card that we have is for the first quarter of the month. So let's take a look at the first quarter of the month for water signs. The first quarter of the month is the Emperor with Archangel Michael. It says organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. And the Emperor card is all about, you know, really making good decisions. He's the father figure. He's all about structure, all about discipline, authority, making good decisions, being organized organized, um, you know, really um, making good plans for the future to get you where you need to be. He's just really sitting on his throne and he has his arms crossed and he's just making good decisions about um, the things that are to come in his life. He's um, really disciplined about those things. He's a leader and is letting you know that you're really, um, you're exhibiting some leadership qualities coming into the month of March. You're really in a place where you know people look up to you you're showing your authority you're creating those structures and um, you're really disciplined about the things that you want to create you're going after it so that's a really good energy to start off the month of March um, in water signs the middle of the month we have for the water signs is the page of fire and this energy describes you as outgoing creative confident and mischievous it says news of an exciting new and endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So the page of fire is all about um, new creative endeavors, new creative projects. It's letting you know there's um, something towards the middle of, um, middle of the month that is really going to um, you know, spark your creativity, spark your passion. The fire signs are all about passion and creativity and really that vibrant, um, you know, um, enthusiastic energetic energy and it's really letting you know that you may be coming into something new working on new things and it's telling you with those things that you're working on that are new use your real originality dare to be different it's telling you to be yourself and um to really just go after these things and um really towards the beginning of the month you're already in a um a period where you're um really you know, taking charge of your life and um, demonstrating those leadership qualities to get you where you need to be, making those plans to get you where you need to be, you know, creating those structures and having discipline around the things that you want to create. And then towards the middle of the uh, month, you're creating new things and these things are very exciting for you and you're um, just daring to be different. You're daring to be yourself in the new things that you're um, creating. So it's really amazing energy for you, Water Signs. The last card that we have for the water signs is the renewal card with Archangel Jeremiel. And this it says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts and time to move in a new direction. So, towards the end of the month, water signs is letting you know that it's time to really think about um, where you're going or trying to figure out if this is the um, right thing for you. It's really that awakening energy where you just... Um, really take the time to reevaluate um, the situation to think about where you're going if you want to go in that um, that direction or not and to really um, make some moves if you're thinking about changing directions that you want to move in but it's telling you if you have any um, any notions about whether or not you're moving in the right um, direction. It's, it's telling you that the, yes, this is the right direction. You are seeing things clearly. It's telling you that you're accessing the facts of the situation clearly. So you are seeing things clearly and it's telling you that to reevaluate and evaluate, review and evaluate the situation and then um, come up with the best plan for you. Move into action with the new direction you could possibly want to move in or to basically um, create those new things that you want to create. Go in the new path that you want to move in. 
all right guys so it really looks like an amazing energy it looks like you're starting out the month you know really structured knowing um you know making those plans to where you want to go being organized you know really being a disciplined hard-working individual to get you where you need to be it's taking you towards the middle of the month where you're um, having that passion and that enthusiasm to um, start new projects and to um, really go after the things that you're interested in towards the middle of the month and then towards the end of the month you're making that decision if this is the um, of the right um, direction that you want to move in or not you're wonder you're going to start reevaluating um, whether this is the right path you want to move in or if you want to move in another path and you can really trust your gut because you're starting to see things clearly towards the end of the month the angel my, uh, messages that we have, I have two for you guys. They fell out together. And the first one that I have is in empowerment, it says. And it says, you're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. And this is really just backing up the reading. This is um, really suggested towards the, um, really all of the month. is letting you know that you're in a period where, you know, coming into the month, you've already come into that place where you're in a leadership role. You're, you know, you're an authority figure. You're in power. You're in control of your life. And you really have the power to change your life. If you don't like something um, that you're um, dealing with, it's telling you that you have the power to change it. It's telling you that you're more powerful than you may realize. And if something is not going right for you or if something that you don't like, it's, it's safe for you to change those things. It's safe for you to um, go after the things that you want to create. So be empowered this month and know that you can create whatever you want to create. The second card that we have for Spirit Guide Messages is an amazing card to have for Spirit Guide messages and this is divine magic and this is actually the illustration that's on the mermaids and dolphins cover but this card says extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so the angels are letting you know that you know they are with you and to really expect miracles in any situation that may crop up um um, towards or throughout the middle of the throughout the month of March is letting you know that the, um, the angels are surrounding you they will um, they're there with you helping you and they're just letting you know to really expect the best outcomes really expect for your wishes to come true and things to really um, move in a direction that's pleasing for you and to know that you are powerful enough to move in that direction you're powerful enough to do whatever Everything that you want to um, do, you know, to create anything that you want to create, you have the power to do so. So really know that this month. All right, water signs. These are the messages that I have for you for the month of March. I really hope um, this these readings help you or these messages help you. And I will be back with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.